Hola, this is Yvette. Thank you for joining me for this watercolor painting tutorial. Today is Thursday, so we're here sharing with you guys what I love to do that is painting. Today's video, I will be sharing with you how I paint a sample for beginners. It's now, of course, using watercolor. So remember, this is a real-time step-by-step video. So if you have a comment, please leave it in the comment section. That would be awesome. I will be able to check here and there your comments and I will be sharing with you guys. So let's grab uh, our paint and let's start. Let me just add my palette and the picture that we're going to be uh, having as our reference picture. So I'm going to put aside this little guy I have here, ready to prepare my, my paper that is arch watercolor paper, 300 grams, and it's cold press. I totally recommend you. This sample that I did, I did it in a like lower quality of paper just to practice, but uh, I you will see the difference between using a normal paper and a um, better quality paper. So that's what we are going to be doing today. So I have here my HB mechanical pencil and uh, my special eraser, naval eraser that I use to soft the lines of the pencil. So the first thing that I want to be doing is a sketch. I'm going to be sketching the snail and some of the leaves. Okay, so I'm going to put aside this like that. We are going to be able to see it better. So the first thing I want to be doing is a circle. And what I did, I cut halfway my paper. So this is a circle that is going to be this part. And now I'm going to add another circle in this part, more like a circle and an oval, and another little oval here. So we have an oval, an oval, and kind of like an, a circle, yes? Because this part we're going to cut it, and I'm going to start like a tracing the lines and here I can decide how big I want the snail to be this part of the snail I want it to be have it bigger okay okay So we have the first part of the snail and now I'm going to start like tracing the body. So we know that the body is going to be ending here, the little, I don't know, it's a tail, and then some foldings here. Have you tried escargots? I tried it years ago just to know the flavor but I promised myself none anymore so are you going to be painting with me Jeannie hi Jill good to see you here so guys tell me if you're going to be painting with me like that I can give you a little extra time to catch up or you can just watch it and then another time you can um, just follow the video this video is going to stay here and i'm going to try to upload it as well in facebook until sunday night for you guys to watch it but if you want to keep the the video for you to 
to work later and uh, th that is going to be in my web website at tip to own and the first four days five dollars and then after those four days it's going to be fifteen dollars okay so i have like a you know the basic lines and before uh, erasing it i want just to sketch a little bit more this part good so now i'm going to be using this piece of eraser and i'm going to be erasing the extra lines first and then i'm going to be softening the lines you know the the inside lines i don't want to use my pencil because we're going to be using our liner brush with brown and ochres and white and also i'm going to be using a nickel color so this curve i want to have it like smoothed like smooth something like this okay so now i'm going to sub the lines okay so now i'm going to trace first i'm going to trace this main leaf This part of the leaf is like a folded. Something like this. Okay, I'm going to raise this extra line. And now I'm going to draw this leaf so what i'm going to do is it's going to start here and it's going to be like a smaller because of the size of my paper but if you have a big uh, piece of paper this is you know, go and spread yourself. Okay. And the third one, that is like a behind this one. I'm going to start here. And I'm going to add a little fold as well. And it's going to be smaller as well. But this is going to be behind. something like this so let's erase the extra lines and soft our lines so I add a blue masking tape all around because I want to have like a, a nice white frame around the, the painting Okay, so now I'm 
I'm going to smooth the lines again. Just a little bit. You you can go as much as you can to keep it clean. And remember all the pencil lines that are going to be in the bottom and then you apply the watercolor the lines are going to stay okay so I think the sketch is ready and what I'm going to start doing is the background okay this is the plan guys first I'm going to be wetting everything excepting the the snail and I'm going to be adding first a light light blue and then I'm going to be adding light green okay that's the first step let me put aside my pencil I have my flat brush here it's half inch I have my two glasses of water and also even we can even use a flat brush to wet the paper is two inches and I just I want to be sure as well that it's clean so be sure before start wetting your paper just be sure that your brushes are clean okay so now um, I'm going to be just checking perfect and my palette I'm going to be adding first some of the cerulean blue There you go. And now my green that is going to be my sap green or permanent green. Those are the two greens that I'm going to be using just for the background, okay? So I have my flat brush, I'm going to wet and I'm going to add water and as much as you can go around, you can use your um, white mask and this nail like that you will feel more comfortable using like the wet and wet technique Wetting around the snail. Okay, use the light of your lamp just to check that everything is wet. And as I am using a good paper, the uh, paper is going to stay wet more time. So now my cerulean blue. I am adding water because I want to have a light blue and I'm going to start adding this blue in the background. With my flat brush I'm going to go around as much as I can. like a middle way I'm going to start adding my sap green with water I'm going to go around this nail again just adding this light green he 
here you will notice how the green with the light blue are going to start like a blending and that's what we want this is like the background so we're going to come back and add some leaves later but now it's just like a background like simple and soft okay so I'm going to be trying the background to keep moving if you have a chance I totally recommend you just to leave it alone and come back later okay but because of the class I need to be using my hair dryer I'm coming Okay, here you can see guys how we have uh, this beautiful transition between the blue and the green. This part is dry and so what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to be adding a little bit of the hawker screen into my palette. And I'm going to change brushes. I'm going to use a round number 12. Just wanna be sure that it's clean. Now I'm going to be adding water into my hawker screen and I want to have this light color of this green. So I'm loading my brush, take up excess of the water and what I'm going to be doing now, I'm going to add some and behind these leaves there are another leaves with the, from the same plant. So I want to create more of the effect of shadows that is behind still. Okay. So let's start in different uh, direction as well. So this is one. And let's paint another one comes from here. Then go all, uh, out. And here we're going to be. Okay. More water. And let's add another one here. Keep adding shadows. I hope you are able to see it. I'm just building my background with a very, very light hawker screen, okay? I'm going to be adding here in between and a little one here. More water, a little bit of the hawker screen as well. And in the background, I'm going to add this color in between these two plants. And here in the background, we have this longer leaf. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We need another one. I'm going to add 
one coming here let's do this this part Okay. And I think the background is ready, guys. So I'm going to try it to start painting the lips or the snail, okay? So now <coughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little bit of the raw sienna and let me show you in which part. We're going to be adding this part a little bit of raw sienna and we're going to do some like strokes here a little bit in this part a little bit here and a little bit of here so we we want to leave some white areas but also as i did here i went back at the end and with my white wash and my liner i add all these little tiny lines okay so i'm going to clean the brush Make sure that we don't have the green the background okay and I'm going to add a little bit of the raw sienna. Here. And I just I want to clean this part, the blue. I don't want the color to get mixed. And I'm going to add water. And now I'm going to start adding some strokes. First, I'm going to go and add a line like this. And from here, I'm going to start like moving some lines. And this technique is dry paper with wet. The first one was uh, wet with wet. This is dry with wet and this is dry with wet as well. See how I'm leaving some white areas? Okay. And here I'm going to add all this color into its body. Okay, so now I'm going to grab a little bit of nickel color to put it here. The nickel color is like a orangey nickel, nickel, <laughs> nickel color. Does a does a color? So I'm going to just to grab a little bit with the tip of my brush, and I'm going to go back. As this is still if it's still wet, I'm going to go back and add the same technique. I'm going to wash my brush. Just go back and add some little lines in this part okay grab more of the color with the tip of my brush i'm going to be cleaning it a little bit again the tip of my brush I'm grabbing a little bit of water and here I'm going to add this color in this part and I'm going to add in like a painting like a some foldings ok 
okay like this okay I'm going to clean my brush and now it's time to use a little bit of the burnt amber adding a little bit of water and with the tip again of the brush I'm going to go back and add this color again again in the top clean my brush and drag the color so you can go in the top of the raw sienna and or in the top of the nickel color I'm going to add a little of this brown here clean the excess of the paint when I say clean I have here my little paper and I clean like this okay and drag the color if you feel the paper is already dry wet your brush and add some water into the paper so here and I'm adding the color like by layers this part need to be darker because we start like a observing the shadows clean your brush and I'm I have been painting really guys with just the tip of my brush and the amount of paint that I am adding is like barely like nothing okay so I'm going to grab again a little bit of this brown and I'm going to go and add this color here here I can see that the paper is, is already dry so I wet my brush I take out the excess of the water and I'm touching whatever I add the paint and with this it's going to be helping me to move the paint again the brown here is dry again so I'm going to add some water and just move the color a little bit okay so I'm going to grab again more burnt amber because I want to have more of this color here cleaning the excess brush and add the water in the top and then start like dragging the color here I want to have the same tone so I'm going to go back 
in my brush okay so I have another brown this is a Van Dyke brown it's like a super dark brown so I'm going to be adding here and with the tip of my brush I wet it a little bit and I'm going to grab a little bit of this color and I can see the paper is wet that's good so if your paper is getting dries faster also what you can do is to wait really that the paper is 100% uh, dry and then just wet this area and work this area all the colors that you want to add and then uh, dry it and then wet the next area paint it dry everything in the last part here i know it's dry so this is what i'm going to be doing adding first the paint then adding some water in the top more of the same color this brown is really rich that's why I want to go like very like a slow And when you apply the paint, you can see if the paint is moving fast, it's moving, it does mean the paper is still wet. So you, you don't need to add more water. Okay. So I'm going to add it in this part. Here is already dry. So I wet my brush, I take out the excess of the paint, I want to add more. I'm going to clean my brush. And I'm dragging the paint. This part need to be lighter, okay? Because this part is darker. So that's the that's the way to paint it. By doing this, we're like creating volume. I want to add more darker here. adding shadows here and there and filling the painting I 
a little bit of this dark brown hi em Jamie, uh, Emily hello oh thank you good to see you here Em this part we need to add some le very small strokes and the same we need to be like doing the same movement of this this you know lines strokes are the same here okay so now i'm going to go back to uh, grab a little bit of my brown that is the burn amber okay so i grab a little bit of the burn amber and what i'm going to do is first is this part is dry okay i want just to add some dry strokes i want to leave some areas with white of the paper but it's like a i want to say like a lot of like foldings because this part is like a warm you know Here I want to be careful so I can change my brush. Now I'm going to be using my number two round. I'm going to grab again a little bit of the amber or water because I want to have a soft color here in the area of the antennas and its face. I'm going to add a little bit of water and we have the nickel here, right? I'm going to grab a little bit of the nickel color and I'm going to add a little bit of this color in the top of the one that I already paint just to like blend these two colors I'm going to grab a little bit of the darker brown to start adding these shadows here I just I need to be careful that this part if is still wet come close but do try do not touch it you know so I'm going to add more water to have this light brown Just moving this color. And the bottom part, I'm going to add some dots, like a line and then some dots. But we need to have this part with the white of the paper but in case that you pass it don't worry because we can come back with the white wash at the end that that's exactly what we're going to be doing so i'm going to grab a little bit of the nickel color again just some dots Again, the dark brown. Okay. okay, so again, the dark brown to do, 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 do some dots here.
going to clean my brush just move this paint this I want to have like to see the different lights part of the snail so by adding a little line we can see the difference between I don't know the part of the body of a, a snail but we need to see this white line okay so I'm going to add more shadows in this part of the face and I'm going to use my liner later for the antennas and its eyes okay so go back load your brush with the brown and let's revisit some of these lines you can use your liner or your small brush this is my liner let me show you my liner okay this is a liner super thin and when you wet it the tip is super thin and that's what you want to be like achieving in this part so let's do it again so I'm loading my brush so I'm mixing it with the water and I'm adding some lines starting in this part and then moving something like this It's important to have a very thin brush when you are going to be doing this part, okay? Sometimes to have like a, a good brush is a good investment because then you get frustrated less. I'm telling you because I had been there. And the same happened with me with the paper. Okay, keep moving, adding some lines. And also, if you don't feel comfortable doing the lines like this, you know, I am those type of person that I like to move my, <coughs> my design. So it's not like I feel like uncomfortable moving around, oh no. So if the paper is dry, that's why I, I can make these lines and the lines is going to stay. They're not like a blending. with a tip and I'm dragging the paint and then I do these little tiny strokes and then long ones ok 
है स्क्रैप मोर tiny ones and then long ones okay and this part something like this and then here we need to have a little of this color we can revisit this part darker okay so i'm going to clean my the liner and i want to grab a little bit the first color that we use is the raw sienna that we have here with a little bit of the water and I want to paint the antennas first the antennas and then the eyes using really the tip just a tip now the eyes okay I'm going to grab a little bit of the amber the burnt amber I want to touch one side and now the dark brown that we have here I want to go around it was too heavy so I wet it and I'm going to go around this part of the antenna We want to see the difference between the head and where the another antenna star. A little darker at the beginning of the eyes. And I think our snail that part is ready so i'm going to wait to be dry to add all the texture into its body like all these white dots with our wash so the lips for the lips i'm going to go back and use our number 12 good and what i'm going to have now is first i'm going to be adding this uh, lemon yellow Mm -hmm. I want to be sure wh where I can add the color that you can see guys okay I'm going to clean my brush just be sure that we don't have brown on it I'm going to grab a little bit of this color a little bit of the water and I'm going to start painting all around dry paper with wet except this part that is a folding one but here Did 
this part also is yellow okay, I'm going to grab again and the next one is this one a little bit more water Keep adding this color to the other two leaves. I would love to be listening some music, but you know how is the. As I want this video to be in Facebook, Facebook doesn't like me to add music to my my um, videos. They believe it's copyright in YouTube. I have a bunch of free <laughs> copyright music but you know how it's facebook so all this to tell you that i hope you guys also are, are listening some music while you're like painting or you are watching me to paint see we have our three leaves and now uh, we have here our sub green right I'm going to be adding a little bit of the sap green into my brush. And I'm going to add a line, a middle line. And I now that it is still wet, I can add a little bit of this color. And if you see, I'm leaving a yellow outline. Again, as my paper is wet, by doing this, the colors are blending. And here that is, is already dry, I'm wetting my brush. I'm going to wet this part. Grab more green. I'm going to wait a little bit to get a little dry. Okay, I'm going to do another one. This one, so I'm going to wet it again in case that is dry the paper. Okay. Clean my brush. Let me just sub these lines. How do you soft your lines? Adding water into the lines. Okay, now loading the tip of my brush with the sap green. And I'm going to go and add first the middle line. More water. And then I'm going to add some lines first around like this. and the green is blending very nice okay a little bit of the water I noticed that uh, my paper get drier faster uh, when my air condition get on okay so here I can add some lines too. Okay, now I'm going to be drying this part. Okay, I'm back guys. In the next screen that we're going to be using is a cobalt green. And for all these little lines, 
that we're going to be adding I'm going to be using as well my liner okay so let's add some color and this part is uh, a little time consuming but it's worth it it's worth the time guys promise So I'm adding water and loading my brush. So my, my paper is dry. So I'm going to start by painting the first one. So I'm going to find my middle line first. And then I'm going to go back and add some of the shadows, but not now, okay? And the idea here, guys, is really that you add lines as close as you can one to another one. One by one. Add more water. So that's why our background when we mix it, the yellow with the light green it was important for, for us just to have these two tones because by doing this, the lines so you're going to have a different background in the bottom Okay, let me read to your comments. Right is bad to have uh, the fund. I need to close the vents, but I need to ask my husband to do it because he's very tall. So I know it's not good to have a fan or air condition in front of you. And here with my number two, I'm going to use the same green. And this dry paper with wet brush. So I'm going to wet and I'm going to blend like this. And now I'm going to add some of the green, light green in the bottom, in this part. Look at this. I'm going to clean my brush and just add in a little bit of water. This is going to help both ends to blend each other. And remember, we can come back later to add more, more colors, so just for now, okay? 
so let's keep adding lines okay so let's work the other side and for that guys I'm going to move a little bit my paper all the edge around all around the, the lips we're going to add some white uh, line with you can use your white gel or I'm going to be using my wash, white wash. Very close. more water load my brush okay so later when this is dry I'm going to come back and add some shadows in the middle line let me show you this shadow we're going to be adding this shadow and then at the end we're going to be adding a white line okay so now let's paint this part and here I can see also the blending and we're going to be adding as well some brown you know how the plants has like sometimes a little touch of brown or sepia okay that's what we're going to be adding so the middle line and this specific leaf have like a it's like a broken has a hole here and we can add another one here okay So I'm going to add first the lines Here we can add another line in between. Okay, let's keep moving.
so yeah sorry um sorry that I, i'm a little quiet but you know i need to pay attention to come close to the line Water here. This part, I want to add more of this green. Something like this. Same here. Okay, let's paint then uh, another one. Like that, we give time these two to get dry. So I'm going to flip a little bit. First, the middle line. And then I can start adding. Very close. Okay, let me just go back. Just need to be careful if I'm going to place my hand here that I don't mess with my own paint. Okay, so to do to do. Remember, we have here a folding one, so. If you have a um, watercolor pencil, you can be doing these lines with watercolor pencil as well. Or watercolor markers, you can be doing as well that part. Uh, let's go back to use my number two. And this time I'm going to start with the light green. With my brush. Come close, but just careful that do not touch this part. And now the green. I'm going to clean my brush and blend these two. Okay, so I think this is dry already. So what I'm going to do now, I wanna change the, for the shadows, I wanna use my hawker screen. So I have here the hawker screen. And I'm going to start using the number two just to see if how I feel. 
So I'm going to load my brush with cocker screen. Going to wet the brush, come close to the what I already did, and blend it to the background. Okay, like this. Again, a little bit of the hawker screen because I want you to add a shadow in this part of the the leaf because the snail is giving a shadow something like this okay and here we can even add a bigger shadow it's going to be like the face A little bit more of this hawker screen. Okay. So I'm going to add a little shadow in the edge. So this is going to be white, remember? Just want to add a shadow here. Because we want to see the difference between these two, right? Okay. So this one. in some water a little water just to blend this part grab more of the green clean my brush Okay, so now I'm going to grab a little bit of the brown, the br amber, burnt amber that we have here. And add some amber here and in this part as well. And now that we have the amber, We're going to paint this part of the branches and the brown is going to be even going a little strokes to the top. A little water. have here my darker brown so I'm gonna add a little bit of the darker brown in this part in the middle of the branch add some water here 
here I need to clean my brush because I want to move this brown like this and I'm going to clean my brush and grab a little bit of the burnt amber with water because I want to give a little of this color in this part and the same here but if you notice it's very soft the color very light okay so in my brush grab a little bit of the hawker screen and let's give more shadow to this part so let's start in the middle a little bit of water and just blending the color And now here, just a little bit. Okay, I want to grab more of this color to add more darker green. Grab a little bit of the hawker's green here. Clean my brush. Okay, so darker brown. The tip of the lips. Clean my brush and move a little bit the brown inside. that I'm going to be using my liner darker brown in some areas adding this color just in the edge it's going to look like it's more like um it's getting dry or a hole okay So now it's time for me to define better this. So I'm going to grab the hawker screen again. I want to just define better this leaf. That is folding. So we want to see the folding part. And as well, well, this part is going to be white, so it's going to be good to have that part because it's going to separate, get separate. Here we want to have a shadow and for the shadow I want to grab a little bit of my fallow blue and I'm going to add a little bit of the brown to the fallow and you're going to make this gray color very nice. And now we can correct our, all our shadows. And I'm 
going to add this color here a little more black more, no black sorry brown more blue and in the middle Okay, so it's time to add our white. So I'm going to clean very well my brush. I have here my white wash. I'm going to check that my liner is super clean. Okay, I'm going to grab clean water. And I'm going to be adding a little water to my wash, load my brush, and I can start by adding some lines here if we decide we need some lines. If you like how it looks, you don't need to add it. Just with the tip of my brush. And now in the body, here I want to add some strokes, some dots like this. Okay, so I want to just add some more here. And a little bit in the antennas, just a little bit. We have here a good white, so I'm not worried for that. the plants so I'm going to add the first white line some water and then stop here the next we have here this white part the bottom here I'm going to cover it later with the gray okay more water now 
of this part Okay, so this one, water, load my brush, water the consistency of uh, the wash you need to feel the how much water you need to add because you want to have like a very soft uh, lines and if you feel the brush is stuck that's mean that you need to add more water And here I'm going to add some lines, white lines here. And in this part, just add some RS in white. Okay, so let's revisit this part. Do, 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 do. is just to decide this white This going to dry opaque, so I'm not worried. Let me just move a little bit. But yes, this is it, guys. I think I'm almost done. Okay, so yes, I think this is it. We can even revisit some black, no black, like add the darker brown that we have here with a little bit of the blue that we have here. Mix it to have this gray. Let me add more brown because it gets so much the blue. So let me add here the brown that is my burnt amber with water. And when you mix these two colors, you can have this beautiful gray. There you go. We have this gray. So We can just go back and I'm going to change to the number two. If you want to define better some 
shadows just go back and add the color and the good thing is that your the white that you are already add is going to stay and it's going to grab some of this gray color and it's going to look really nice so yeah I'm just adding here and there some of this gray color okay and I'm going to take out this tape you see how beautiful the frame already looks okay so this is it guys I hope you can watch this in uh, this computer because you can see more the detail so let me just do a little zoom in for you to see the lips that we add at the beginning as a part of the you know the background the shadow and a little some in to this nail okay so here you have the two pictures i'm going to call this painting done for today that's all for today thank you for coming and see you next time bye bye